Hello, so if you play this game, then you probably have at some point played a song that is Japanese, and as such, you probably have seen us be described as a weeb game. The main reason being that the majority of popular content in this game is of Japanese songs. It's not as if this game doesn't get any non-Japanese music though. There are plenty if you look for them, but if you look at almost any page of the rank section, most of the songs will be of Japanese origin whether it's from an anime, or a video game, or if the artist is just Japanese. This game even promotes Japanese songs through their featured artists. I've met plenty of people who have wished for more non-Japanese content in this game, but the fact is that the majority of players either don't mind or even prefer the torrent of Japanese content this game gets. So the question is, why? Even if we jump back to the very first ranked maps in this game, we see a good handful of Japanese songs, including the very first map in the game. So even from the start, this game was exposed to Japanese content. And it goes even further than that. The game Os Tatakae Oindan, the game that Os was based off, was a Japanese game. So it seems natural for the first maps in the game to also be Japanese. There's also points to say that rhythm games like us, and even the other game modes, are natural products for the Japanese population for several reasons. But I won't be going into that in this video, but it's worth pointing out that Japan still contributes one of the largest player bases into this game. However, most of the community isn't Japanese, and mapping has evolved to the point where almost any song can be mapped. So why do most people still choose to map and play Japanese songs? The reasons are probably more fundamental than just because the game is based off another Japanese game. The main thing you need to remember is that OS is a rhythm game. The main aim of the game is to click circles to a predetermined beat. What I'm about to say may be up for debate, but I do believe there are good and bad choices for songs to map in this game, no matter what kind of mapping you are. The world offers so many different varieties of songs, from upbeat exciting songs to slow calm songs. As a rhythm game, it's probably a bad idea to make your players fall asleep from boredom or get frustrated from misheard beats, so the songs should be engaging and exciting to listen to with clear, coherent beats in the music. So what are the most common problems with songs to map in this game? The first potential problem is tempo. This is probably not a problem for beginner players just learning how to play the game, but after you've mastered clicking circles in a slow, regular beat, you'll be bored of playing slow songs, and will want to be looking for something a little faster. Of course, this doesn't apply to every non-Japanese song, but it does seem like a lot of Western songs tend to be of a lower tempo. Some of them may be called for alright double time maps for experienced players, but for no mod, it's a little on the boring side for speed. You'll notice that the most popular songs in this game are usually above 160 BPM, and any that are lower than that are usually played with double time, or are mapped in a double BPM style. Next is the question of variety and layers in the song. Ideally, you want to be able to map a constant stream of notes without too many significant breaks to keep the map engaging to play. A lot of songs have an issue where the main layers of the song are either too repetitive or are broken up with breaks way too often, and the minor layers being too boring to map. Here is a map of Linkin Park's What I've Done, mapped by Andrea in 2013. Give it a listen. So the main things to take away from this song is that the main layer, the vocals, is sung with many held notes that go over multiple beats with breaks every so often. On its own, these held notes don't really call for any interesting rhythm for mapping, and on the minor layers, the guitar and the drums are being played at a constant 1-2 beat, and we've seen how interesting that can be. So the rhythms of this song just aren't dynamic enough to make a good map for a rhythm game. Well, a map has been made for it, I've shown you here, but this is honestly far from being one of the most fun maps I've ever played. And also, I like the song, but in Guitar Hero, it was honestly one of the most boring songs in the game for me. On a related note, repetition in a song can make it less suitable for mapping. Most full version songs have more than one chorus, which is most of the time fine. They're the most exciting parts of the song, and usually have plenty of rhythms to play to. But for some songs, where it is composed in such a way that the same few beats are repeated again and again, it does start to feel boring to play the same thing over and over again, and often, that is a problem with the song itself rather than the map. The song may be nice to listen to for some people, but to play as a map? the repetition may suck the fun out of it. Not many people like doing the same thing over and over again, after all. Combining the two previous points, this makes BGMs, or background music, like you would find in a video game, a common offender for bringing lots of problems when they're being mapped. 
BGMs are, as the name suggests, composed to be listened to in the background. They're not supposed to catch your attention and be the centerpiece of whatever you're playing or watching. As a result, they're usually less intense and engaging tracks, and as such, the rhythms aren't interesting for a map. For video game BGMs especially, they may be composed in such a way so that they can be looped. Therefore, the song sometimes lacks a chorus or any sort of climax. Some BGMs actually sound pretty good, and to some people they may even be nostalgic, but as a song for a rhythm game, they're just not really made for it. Again, I want to stress that this is not a problem with every single non-Japanese song, or video game BGM, or whatever genre of music. There are plenty of songs from those genres that have made excellent maps. It's just that when picking those genres for mapping, those are the most common problems with those songs. So that's enough bashing on what the negatives are of going outside the norm of Japanese songs. So now let's take a look at the question from another point of view. Why Japanese songs? The Japanese language favours what is known as syllabic singing, meaning each note in the song lands on one syllable. For example, This makes it so each note in the song has impact. They're strong enough to give a sense of rhythm and is great for a rhythm game. This is as opposed to songs with melismatic singing, where multiple notes are sung over a single syllable, for example this. Those notes have less of an impact, and they are more difficult to map to an interesting, clickable rhythm. It's not as if other languages aren't suited for syllabic singing though. In fact, English is very good at it. A disclaimer here that I am by no means a linguist, but it may have something to do with the differences in phonology, where the Japanese language uses stronger, more simple sounds in their language compared to English, which sometimes uses more complex consonant sounds. Compare the English Christmas to the Japanese Kulisimas. J-pop and anime themes are often composed with higher BPM, probably because of that phonology thing I was talking about. Whatever the reason, combine the higher BPM, the more distinct rhythms, and the game attracting Japanese players and fans of Japanese culture, and it just seems natural to pick a Japanese song to map. So what about songs with no lyrics, i.e. instrumental songs? Well, looking at the most popular songs in the game, it seems a large majority are, once again, from Japanese composers. It also seems a lot of them are songs from other Japanese rhythm games. For example, Zai's Freedom Dive is from BMS, a Japanese composer for what is originally a Japanese game. Songs composed for rhythm games are naturally good for rhythm games. I'm sure that's obvious enough that I don't need to explain why. And since many of the more advanced rhythm games come from Japan, well, you can see the link here. If it's not from another rhythm game, then it's probably a cover of a track from Toho, which is another game from, once again, Japan. Toho songs are, for some reason, widely renowned to the point that there are countless covers of these songs all over the internet. And since Toho is mostly popular in Japan, it's the Japanese fanbase that usually makes these covers, and since they're so accessible all over the internet, they make their way onto our beatmap listings. It would be a pretty bold claim to say that every Toho cover and every rhythm game song is from a Japanese composer. And as before, there are plenty of instrumental songs from non-Japanese composers. For example, High Score, the most played instrumental song barring the default songs, is a collaborative composition between Panda Eyes, who is Swiss, and Temenite, not Termite, who is British. So there you go. The reason why we're all playing a weeb game is because it naturally attracts a Japanese and Japan-loving crowd, and Japanese songs just naturally work well for rhythm games for various reasons. Keep in mind, this is just a shot in the dark theory about something that probably doesn't even matter. As I keep saying, there are plenty of counterexamples of non-Japanese songs making decent or even excellent maps. These are just the most common trends I've noticed for Japanese songs working well, and non-Japanese songs not as much. I personally have considered various non-Japanese songs to try and map myself, but don't even get to the mapping stage because I can't really imagine a decent fun map for them at all, whether it's because the rhythm isn't interesting enough, or whatever other reasons I mentioned earlier. There's a sentence I read in a mapping guide I read a while ago. Mapping never occurs from a blank canvas. Instead, mapping is more like being given the line art to an art piece, and being asked to paint it. A good song choice is half the map. What's important then, is that the song fits in the context of a rhythm game, by having distinct and dynamic rhythms to play to. And it just so happens that many Japanese songs are good for that, and a fair few non-Japanese songs aren't. There are plenty of non-Japanese maps out there that have made great maps too, and there are plenty more to come I am sure, but in the end, how much does it matter? I personally don't care too much about what music I listen to. As long as the map is fun to play, I'd play it. 
If it just so happens that the easiest way to get good maps is out of Japanese songs, then I'm all for having as many of them in the game as we can get. Actually, on second thoughts, may, maybe it is an issue.